Greetings! It is Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another Visual Basic tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with how to do a length check using Visual Basic. So before we start, we're going to be using function overloading. And function overloading is basically allowing us to create multiple functions with the same name, but with different implementations. So basically, we can have multiple length checks. Each one has its own function. We can call them length check, but the parameters need to be slightly different. An example could be, we could have a length check. It takes in a string and then an integer. We could have another length check, and that takes an integer and then a string. See how those two are different? One is string than integer, the other one is integer than string. Or we could have another one which takes in a string and then an integer and then another integer. That's different. Now, we can't have a different speed, different names for the variables. We do need to have different orders of variable types as parameters. But that's good enough for us. So let's get right into it. Also, overloading is really useful to know for, the, for your um, exams, as that can pop up and instead of learning some dumb um, definition, you actually have an example you can draw upon and actually have an understanding on how it works, which I find always helps me out. So let's get right into it. So we've got our main subroutine here, console.write line, length check, and we're passing in some parameters. We're just going to test all our length checks using this line. So our first length check is going to be a type of range check. We are basically checking if our input is between two values. So what do I mean? We're going to do function length check. String input. Min integer minimum length. Integer maximum length. Then we do return input dot length is less than the max length. And input dot length is greater than the minimum length. Basically, if the length of our input is less than the maximum length and greater than the minimum length, it's a valid password. It, it's a valid um, input, as in it's within the range we've specified. If, let's say, our input is greater than the minimum length, but it's also greater than the maximum length, it's invalid because it's too long. If, let's say, it's less, it, it's great, it's less than the minimum length and less than the maximum length. Well, there's a problem there. It's a bit too short, isn't it? And that's basically this type of length check. And you can adapt this as well. Let's say you don't care on how long it is, and you just care that it's above a minimum length. Well, you can just shove a really high arbitrary number as the maximum length, like a 99999. So it's, you've got ways to work with this to actually just conduct a greater than or a less than check as well. I'm ju I just thought about what I've said for the past uh, few sentences, and I really hope no one takes those statements out of context, because um, that they could mean other stuff. Our next function is going to be called length check again, because we are overloading. Input as string and value as integer. We're just checking if the input, the length of that input, is equal to a specified value. Let's say we type in max as the input and we have three as our desired length. Well, guess what? It's going to be valid. But let's say we type in maxi, M-A-X-I, and the value, our, our value we want to check its length against is three, then it's going to be false. And lastly, we've got the not equal length check. Basically, we're going to do function length check, value as integer, input as string, return not input dot length equals value. We're checking if a val if the length is not equal to a value. Basically, if the, in if the input is max and the value is free, then this is going to be false because we want the length to be something that's not the value we're specifying. But let's say we put in john as our input and the value was free then it's going to be true because john is four characters long that's greater than three and it's not equal to three therefore it's going to be true and that's it for this tutorial but stick around if you want to see me test out these functions 
So we're going to do our length check. We're checking if the length is a certain value. Let's hit Control S and hit play. It returns true because Ted's is four characters, but let's put a few more S's on the end. It's a false because that's not four characters. Let's just put in a T just to get the point across. It's false. Now let's put a number before. So we're going to check if it's not equal to a certain value. That's true. Let's put in three E's to make that four characters long. That's false. Now we're going to remove the number here and put in some numbers here. So the minimum is going to be two. The maximum is going to be six. That's true. Let's put a bunch of E's on. That's false. Let's do one T to just nail it in. That's false. So, that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want more Visual Basic tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience and I will see you next time.